This is section B. You are told to answer all the questions in this section in the spaces provided. 14a. State and explain how increase in temperature affects the conductivity of a semiconductor and you get two points or two marks. So we say as temperature increases more electrons get the energy to jump from conduction band to valence a valence band and thereby increases the conductivity of semiconductor so increase in temperature increases the conductivity of a semiconductor so we say can put it like that as temperature increases uh, more electrons get the energy to jump to jump energy to jump uh, from conduction but from conduction band to valence band band and thereby and thereby we say thereby increases the conductivity increases the conductivity conductivity of a semiconductor uh, this is of a semi or we can put it uh, of a semi of a semi conductor so you can answer it like that or something like that uh in you can as long as you put the point clear that the increase in temperature uh, and also explain what happens the electrons get energy to jump from conduction band to valence band and and therefore increases conductivity question number 14b figure 8 shows a graph of potential difference v across a bulb against the current uh, i through the bulb obtained from uh, an experiment so we have our figure 8 here we have a uh, y-axis representing the P potential difference, uh, x-axis representing current, and we have a graph from O to A, then A to B. Uh, so explain why parts OA is straight, one mark. Uh, it's because current flowing is directly proportional to uh, potential difference. So you can write it like this. current flowing is directly proportional proportion uh, that is directly proportional to the potential difference across the bulb So you get one mark for that. Uh, part Roman number two, AB is curved. So this is the part AB. It is curved because current flowing is not directly proportional to the potential difference across the bulb. So current flowing is not directly proportional. the potential difference the difference across the bulb uh, 
close the bulb as the bulb is not is not uh, ohmic is not uh, let's put that correct is not ohmic ohmic means that uh, the electrical resistance of uh, of which obeys the ohm's law so it means here from a to b uh, it's not obeying the ohm's law ohm's law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to uh, the voltage across the bulb that is and that we get the formula v is equals to i v is equals to i so that's how you answer that question and you should get uh, the three marks a circuit consists of 20 identical lamps connected in series uh, to 240 volt main supply determine the potential difference across the lamp uh, and you get two marks so what we do is uh, we say sum of voltage drop uh, sum of voltage uh, drop across each lamp each lamp is equals to voltage uh, supply voltage so with that we can say since we have 20 lamps uh, is if we say 20x is equals to 240 that is means uh, this is uh, 20 times the number of uh, the, the voltage uh, drop so x is equals to these are votes uh, 240 volts divided by 20 and that should give you 12 of uh, that should give you 12 of volts so that is uh, the potential difference across each ramp uh, alternatively you can say uh, v is equals to i r uh, but we can write i is equals to v divided by r uh, meaning that uh, we say this is equals to uh, now the voltage is uh, 240 you divide by 20 uh, r that is 20 number of ramps uh, multiplied by the the resistance which will give you 12 of uh, volts divided by r well you simplify but we have said v is equal to i r here so what you do you say now we have our i here is 12 of volt divided by r then you multiply by this r and this will disappear with that and still that you will be able to get 12 of volts so by doing that you should be able to get uh, these two marks question number 14d uh, figure 9 shows a circuit consisting of two identical lamps and three ammeters a1 a2 and a3 connected to a cell so we have our figure 9 here so this is uh, ammeter 1 this is ammeter 2 this is ammeter 3 uh, this is bulb 1 uh, bulb 1 bulb 2 uh, so this is a cell that's a cell so this is a circuit uh, so given that ammeter a this is ammeter a reads uh, 0 0.05 amperes uh, state the reading of ammeter a3 uh, so you see here the bulbs are connected in parallel uh, and therefore uh, they they the we have uh, the, the, the the current will be divided equally through the two so the reading is zero point that is uh, 0 0.5 amperes you divide by two and you should be able to get 0 0.25 amperes so that will be the reading of uh, umpire, the, the, this is ammeter 3, that one. Uh, explain the answer. Explain the answer. 14D, Roman number 1. So the, the reason is, since the bars are identical and connected in parallel, so you can say since the bars are identical, 
and connected in parallel uh, they have similar resistance they have similar resistance resistance hence current is split equally is split equally so that's how you answer that question and you get two marks totaling to three marks <laughs>